and it was born out of one assistant that I gave to a woman who has lost her husband to find the tree. Now our children have the maturity to get married. But she does not have the means to upset the marriage expenses. If that woman had the wisdom to communicate or to get across to me, then what happened to other families that share different experiences but do not have the means to get across to me? It's probably why the traditional rulers felt they should come in to appeal to me. They appealed and I have helped them. So it is their choice now. Whoever I think a child is going to abuse, I'm not aware of that. So they have that to contend with the religious leaders and the traditional institutions that have appealed to me to assist them. And I did. When Niger State Speaker of Assembly vowed to sponsor the wedding of 100 orphans in Niger State, many Nigerians thought he was playing a practical joke. Until they realized he wasn't fooling around, he was more than serious. Why marry them off? Many ask. Is marrying orphans off the best help someone can ever give them? When did marriage become an object of charity or sadaka? And how did he want the Nigerians to come to terms with marrying off 100 vulnerable helpless orphans in a day it didn't make sense at all to nigerians considering the fact that these children are all within school age and could be interested in going to school so for obvious reasons the planned mass wedding of the hundred orphans proposed to take place on 24th of may sparked outrage across the country many feared the orphans were underage girls or are being married off against their will According to the international campaign group Girls Not Bright, 30% of girls and 1.6% of boys in Nigeria are married off before the age of 18. Some of them, 12% of the girls, are married before their 15th birthday. Of course, child marriages are most common in the northern part of Nigeria. You know, among poor rural households, it is seen as a way of reducing their family financial burdens or to you know uh, improve political and social alliances northern nigeria is mostly muslim and religious and cultural norms favor this practice some people feared the speaker might be using the vulnerable lot for his political gain once he sponsors the wedding he would surely be an idol before the eyes of the people which would in turn boost his political portfolio but Mr. Speaker said that the local religious leaders have approached him to help sponsor the wedding of these girls whose parents lost their lives due to insecurity in the area. They have all lost their parents to attack by armed bandits who regularly targeted civilians, you know, across the state. But Nigeria's Women Affairs Minister Uju Kennedy Ohanenye would not have such sin committed under her watch. She vehemently kicked against it, just like any normal thinking Nigeria would. The minister feared that the girls were too young to go into marriage. They were underage and probably facing forced marriage. At this point, the Imams Forum of Niger said that the marriage ceremony should go ahead insisting that the girls are not below 18 which is the legal age of marriage in nigeria but the minister needed to investigate the matter herself to be able to answer questions like are all the hundred girls lined up for marriage really old enough or are they underage born to be coerced into early marriage just like is normal to cultural norms in the northern rural area say that the girls deserve better and that her department was looking into who the hundred girls are their ages and whether they consented to the marriage or not her department will offer the girls education and training you also say that if the niger state speaker attempts to block these efforts of hers there would be a very serious legal battle between him and the minister of women affairs so she was ready to save these girls from what was about to befall them commercial assembly and we come to state assemblies of every state mm. and plead with them take up one person take up one person and assist me and they go to school when they go to school they marry better husbands even these boys instead of us to push wives on them let us empower them let us expose them to going to school i'm only trying to solve a pressing issue on my women and it is my responsibility that's the job i'm given to do another person that kicked against this was a senior presidential aide abiodun esied 
who supported the Miss Kennedy Ohanenye's plan of action. Ms. Essiet said that uh, her appeal to all stakeholders is to stop embarking on policies and programs that exploit economically handicapped vulnerable people. She sees this as a way of increasing and recycling poverty, as well as deepening ignorance. Human rights activists in Nigeria also launched a petition against this wedding. And as of Friday, a day before the wedding, the petition gathered 10,500 signatures. And this tells how Nigerians were not, you know, in support of it. So after the investigation, Uju Ahanenye found out that the girls were of a marriageable age, you know, and they are not being forced into the marriage. So she had to back down. Okay, she went back on her decision. They, you know, reached an agreement with the Speaker of the State of Assembly, Abdul Malik Sakindaji, who supported the mass wedding for the young women. Would you make it clear that she didn't intend to stop the marriage, but to ensure that the girls were of marriageable age and were not being forced into it? She said it was a requirement that the girls be of marriageable age and willing to go into the marriage. So now that the requirement has been met, she has nothing against the marriage. So she supported the marriage which has taken place on Saturday 24th of May. She also showered the brides with gift items like clothing materials, food stuff, and she says she will make provision for them for six months from the day of their marriage. So that's huge. The girls who are interested in going to school, she promised to send them to school on scholarship. So this act of kindness, you know, shows that she was not really against those girls getting married, but she was against them getting married at the wrong time, you know, and for the wrong reasons. So what bothers me about this is not really, you know, whether they got married or not. What bothers me is the intention be behind the marriage. I mean, the purpose why they're getting married. They are actually getting married because of their poor state, their poverty. They have no parents to take care of them. They are orphans. Do you understand? And what someone came up with to do is to marry them off. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how it it solved the problem of poverty. In their lives you know getting them off married were they getting the were they were they giving them marriage to rich guys that could you know you know change their story this is what i'm asking uh they were probably gotten married to poor people like them and now after the initial pampering like uh, giving them gifts and giving them giving them money you know how are they going to sustain the future like from now till the next five years what is going to happen to them you know this is exactly what i'm talking about i'm looking at the future of these girls and all i'm seeing is the same poverty you know following them would the government be able to take care of them from now till that time that would, they will be completely be established you know, would the government follow them up to see that they are established, you know, and be able to take care of themselves and their children? 100 girls, my people, 100 girls. I, I believe they should have empowered them by giving them education first. Then they can now get them married. You understand? They got married because they were poor. They were poor orphans who could not fend for themselves and who probably had extended family that is also poor. So they are getting married and they got married to poor people. And now the government is keeping them, helping them at this moment. But what will happen in the future? This is what I say, my dear people. Let me share with you. Let me throw here. What do you think about this? Do not say it doesn't concern you. As long as you're a Nigerian, it concerns you. You understand what happens everywhere concerns you. So please give your opinion so that we will know. Whether it is right to do this, even if they are of age, maybe they are 18 and above, is really marrying them off the best thing to do to these girls? Or is it, you know, giving them empowerment, empowering them to be able to cater for themselves? 
would it which which one do you really support let me know in the comment section with it i come to the end of this video thank you so much for coming this far with me in case you have not subscribed to my channel kindly do so now click on the bell icon to set notifications so that whenever i drop my video you will be able to see it like share my videos thank you so much i will see you in my next video god bless you bye bye bye